Hi everyone, Jonathan Stevens here. And in this video, I'm gonna compare the difference of 3D Gaussian splatting output at 7,000 iterations versus 30,000 iterations, and how you can load the two different versions into the viewer so you can compare your results yourself and see if it's worth all that extra training time. Let's jump into it. Okay, I'm gonna look at a couple different scenes to compare so you can get a good idea. Uh, the first one I'm gonna do is called, I call it screening plant. It was a screening plant at a rock quarry. Um, again, I've, I'm, you're going to start in command prompt and I've already pathed and started uh, path to the viewer, uh, folder. I've already started my, uh, my con environment. Uh, but one thing I want to show you, if you type in the S I B R to the EXE and you hit space dash batch dash H and enter, it'll bring up like the help text. And this is something you commonly see in pretty much anything command prompt if you want to know like the different commands you can put in just put in that that dash h or dash dash help something like that and you can you can look at it and they kind of have these like required or optional kind of things you can put in there and i will do a, uh, a a different video on like some like here's some tips and tricks for the viewer to launch things and do some fun things but for this one i'm just going to show you if you go in here it says iteration iteration to load the model and this is a required thing. I think by default, it's always 30,000. I think I read that somewhere on the on the documentation. So if I want to load this scene, uh, uh, this this screen plant scene, I'm just going to, again, I'm going to go to that viewer. Instead of dash H, I'm going to do dash M for the model output. And then I'm just going to pick this guy right here and paste. And then I'm going to go dash dash iteration. Iteration, no S. And then space. Um, Let's first look at the 7,000 iteration. So I hit 7,000, enter, and it's gonna launch. Um, and here it is. So it's, it looks to me pretty good. Like I, this is not bad results. Um, I think I would be happy with this. Uh, as I'm moving around, we got some detail here. Let me just kind of like try to move around. Of course, like the water still looks really good. I would say not the highest detail around like these thin structures and around this gravel here, but this is, I mean, this is still incredible. Uh, you put this up against some other nerfs, um, not as good. Um, so yeah, just kind of jumping around some, some key points here. Um, that looks really good. Even the reflections look good. Um, I do know the scenes like only 1.6 K. So, you know, launched like this. That's looking pretty detailed. So now, now I'm going to close this and um, I'm going to relaunch it at 30,000 iterations. So the difference is like seven minutes of training on my 3090 Ti versus like 40 minutes of training. Um, so, and I, I do wonder how well this will translate onto uh, YouTube, but um, here it is. So also I would say I uh, wish I, I could probably probably record some back to back results just to get an idea. Um, this scene to me is not all that different, which is interesting. Um, I had really clear source data. So for this scene, I would say you could probably get away with 7,000 iterations. And to be honest, at 7,000 iterations, use a lot less VRAM. So if, if that's what you have to do to be able to use like a lower end card, uh, that's what you have to do. And you can still get quality results, which I wanted to show. All right, now let's, let's load up the Ferrari scene I have. I think that might be a good one as well. So um, I'm just going to go to the 7,000 iterations. And instead of retyping all this in, I'm just going to change this output to Ferrari, which I believe I called that folder. Um, so this, again, 7,000. That looks like a nice, bright, beautiful... Ferrari, ah, I still can't figure out how to use the viewer all that well. Um, but that looks, that's crispy. That's looking good. I'm going to make it bigger for you like so. Yeah, that looks good. I mean, I'm I'm looking at the kind of the details in the background as well. Um, again, I blew this up. This looks, this looks, this looks better than Instant Nerf and Nerf Studio. Let's be clear about that for me. Um, this is looking really good. Let's try 30,000. Definitely, I can see on my screen, well, right now I can't see much of anything. I can see a little bit more. Oh, yeah, definitely more detail, especially in the back. It's a little bit more crisp. 
But like the Ferrari itself, like both look great. So I'm not, I mean, like if you have a lower end GPU and you're training it to, to 7,000 7, iterations, I would say not bad. Um, I, I would think I'm going to do a follow-up video that I'll link in these notes eventually just to like render some, some, some animations around this just to do like a, a nice comparison. But my goodness. I mean, look at this car. Um, I probably need to make this bigger on the screen for you to see, uh, which brings me to one more thing. I'm going to show you. I'm going to close this. Um, I think you can do a resize, um, somewhere up here we have texture with height some so there's like a resize function i can get this rendering size here we go let's try this so thirty thousand dash dash rendering size and we're going to render this at 1920 by 1080 now i have a 4k screen so it's not going to be quite the same and i'll put this in advanced tips as well so and that should load it bigger we'll see yeah that looks better um yeah, that looks really good. Um, ah, so I would say seven thousand still looks great. I would not be disappointed with seven thousand. So let me load this one more time at seven thousand. That looks really good. I'm gonna close this and change this to seven thousand. <laughs> it looks like it looks to me on my screen, not all that different. Um, so if that means what you can get away with, ah, I would, I would try that. I mean, that's still good. I can see some difference in the like detail, fine details in the background, but for this stuff that's like just more reflections, I think that it's hard to pick out a huge difference. Uh, maybe you're seeing something better than I'm seeing. Um, you might get more detail. Okay, like let's do this one more time. Ferrari symbol. Um, let's see how clear that is. Now let's load this one more time at 30,000. Let's look at that Ferrari symbol. Let's see if it picked up some more details that I didn't see the first time. Let me just move this guy again. Um, sometimes I struggle moving this, this screen. Looks like I'm not going to be able to move it very well, so that's fine. All right. Let's see if I can get to that Ferrari. Yeah, so again, I would say like it's not like I'm not getting blown away by more detail. Um, they're very similar. I'd like to hear what you guys think. If you could tell a difference, uh, I'm gonna take out this iterations flag and see if it just loads something completely different. No, looks the same. This is all pretty good stuff. So. It's amazing. I do think that you're going to get your best results at 40,000. You always will, especially if you have this, you know, like just crazy details in the back. But is it worth it to try this? This when you have a lower end GPU that can't quite do as many iterations? Absolutely. Especially if it takes longer to render. Uh, look at that. That's just incredible. Um, especially when you get like right at the right angle. Uh, that's cool. I do have one last scene that we could run that might be telling. Um, I have this forest building. So let's try that. And if you're still watching this, thank you. <laughs> uh, forest building. So this is, I'm going to do iteration 7,000. I have not shown anyone this one yet. This is a new one for me to show off. Um, yeah. Okay, this is 7,000 and looks crazy good. No problem with this. This looks like I'm playing a game, of, like a, a computer game or something. This is nuts. Like, look at this. I'm not disappointed. Uh, there might be some loss of detail right here. Some of the, the, that. So again, let's launch it one more time at uh, 30,000. Yeah, it's still looking pretty good. I'm not even sure what details I'm missing. So, yeah, 
I know there's a difference. I can see it. It's slight, but we're not talking about like, oh my goodness, um, one is way better than the other one. I find that quite interesting. Um, I'm sure there's something behind it. Um, I'm going to try one last thing because we ran this at 1920 by 1080. What happens if we run this at like, um, oh goodness, what's my screen resolution here? Displays. Let's do like full display here. Um, let's do 2560 by 1440. That's actually 2560 by 1440. That's that's my other monitor here. But um, we'll see what running at real time at that size screen does if it doesn't crash. That's pretty good. I'm getting 60 frames per second at 2K. 70s. Keeps going up. This is ridiculous. Oh, probably because I got less scene to look at. 90, 100. This is silly. What happens if I make it 4K? Should have live streamed this. Um, I always forget what 4K resolution is. Help me out here, people. 3840. 3840 by 2160. I don't know if this is actually making any difference, though, or if it's just blowing it up. 3840 by 2160. I don't know why I can never remember that number. It might just be resizing the same scene. Oh, man, this looks cool. This is full screen. Let's make it full screen. There we go. Full screen. Uh, I don't know why it's not filling out my screen, but maybe that's because that's the that ratio of the camera. By the way, this looks really good. Um, this is nuts. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the in the comments. Um, still worth training the full model. I think you're always going to get more detail, but it's not as strikingly different as I thought it would be. See you guys in the next video.